How you doing, sis? How you doing? Sis, take a look at this sign right here, sis. Sis, we got signs because our, our people are visual learners, sis. So on this sign, what you see? What's going on in this sign, sis? A lot. Huh? A lot, right? The, you see one particular people selling another nation of people, right? So, look, check it out. The person right here that's doing the selling at the auction is another nation of people. Right here, it's clear that they're not the same. These two people are not the same. So what's going on? One people selling another people. So who are they? Because God clearly calls them our enemy in the Bible. Did you know that, sis? You didn't know that. Do you believe the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Okay, sis. So watch this. This is some valuable information I'm going to bring out to you. All right? So I'm going to show you what your nationality What's your nationality is. Okay. So your father is Nigerian. Honduras. For who? Honduras. Oh, Honduras. Okay, okay. So you'll be from one of the twin tribes of Israel, sis. All praise. But well, we're gonna see if your spirit bear witness with this information, sis, because we know this happened to us as a nation of people. We know this happened. That's why we got the images. This ain't this ain't something we made up. The people that enslaved us, guess what? They still got all these images floating around, proudly, boastfully. You understand that? So it ain't no excuse for us to not know that we're two different people. Because over here in America, they say we're all one nation up under God, right? But dude, what you see, what you be seeing going on in the news, sis, when you see our brothers and sisters get shot down the streets, can we be one nation? Is we all equal? If that's going on, is we get it? Is we getting treated fairly when we go into the job uh, society and we trying to get a job like a, one of those top tier jobs? When we trying to get one of those, is we treated equally? No, we're not. So what I'm about to show you, sis, is our nationality. What you had for? Now? Okay, go go back. Do the run right quick. 28 verse 48. Watch this, sis. Do the run of me, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So, sis, have you ever wondered why slavery existed? Do you know why it existed? It was written. Huh? It was written? Yes, it was written, but it's a reason why it took place. I'm going to show you. Give me uh, verse 1 right quick. Do the run of 28 and 1. 28 and 1. Or do the run of 1 and 1. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a summary. So, is you familiar with anything of the Bible? Like the story of Moses, when he led the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, sis? Okay, so he led us out of Egypt. Right here in the book of Deuteronomy, we are in the wilderness, right? We're in the wilderness. So, God is uh, talk, he, he's speaking to Moses, telling us to go establish my covenant amongst them. I'm going to give you the uh, one side, I'm going to give you the flip side. I'm going to give you the blessings and the curses. So that's what Moses placed upon the Israelites right here. Everybody you see on this side make up the 12 tribes of Israel. So he said, look, I'm going to place my covenant amongst these people right here. If they choose to keep my commandments that I got in this covenant, guess what? All these blessings are going to come upon them. But if they don't keep it, guess what? All these curses are going to come upon them. That's just like, this your son right here? That's just like, if he do something good, you're going to give something good in return back, right? If he do something bad, guess what's going to happen? There's consequences behind it. So God is saying the same thing to us. He say, look, if we don't keep my, if you don't keep my commandment, there's going to be consequences behind it. So what we're about to read now is one of the consequences for not keeping God's commandments. But before we get that, 45 and 46, right? Quick, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Read. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee Read. till thou be destroyed. Till thou be destroyed meaning until you die. So the curse is going to be upon you till you die. Watch this. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to keep his commandments. You see that? Because we didn't keep his commandments. So that's why you're going to be destroyed. That's why death, that's why these curses are going to come upon you. Read on. And his statutes which he commanded thee, uh -huh. and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So the they that is talking about is talking about the curses. They say the curse is going to be upon you for a sign, sis. So watch this. Read on. 
and upon thy seed forever. And upon your kids forever. And their kids. So now watch this, sis. Read verse uh, 40, uh, what I had wanted, 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So God say, the curse is going to be, if you don't keep my commandments, you don't want to serve me. He say, therefore, you know what? You're going to serve your enemies because you don't want to serve me. Okay, when you get locked up, I'm going to leave you in there. Now you're going to be serving them because you ain't want to listen to me. I can't help you no more. You hard-headed. So that's what God is telling us. He's saying you're a hard-headed people. So you're going to serve your enemies because you don't want to serve me. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Hold on. It say the Lord sent who against us? Which the Lord shall send against thee. So who sent our enemies against us? The Lord. So now, remember I asked you about the, the why would we go into slavery? Remember, the Lord said he, he said that he was going to send his enemies against us. So that's who sent our enemies, the other nations, particularly uh, the Caucasian race, the European race. He sent them against us for disobedience. Read on. And hunger, sis. Remember, it say we're gonna serve our enemies. He say in hunger. Think about all the all the uh, restaurants and everything. Who do we have to go to to get that? We're not the ones that open these major uh, restaurants. That's not us. We're not the ones that's on, that, that own the farms and stuff that have all the food and they genetically modifying our food. We're not the ones doing that. So God say, look, I gave you good food. I gave, I gave you good fruit that was untouched. Guess what? Now you're going to serve your enemies that's giving you defiled food. You understand that? Read. And in thirst. And in thirst. Like I said earlier, sis, I know you wasn't here, but like I said earlier, thirst, water. We used to drink, we used to have our water for free. But guess what our enemies done? We got a water bill, right? Who gave them the right to charge you for water? Have you thought about that? Who gave them the right to charge you for water that was free? Water is a natural resource, sis. So who is giving them the right to have control over the oceans? To have control over the rivers, the lakes, the ponds? Who giving them the right? God is. Why? Because our disobedience. Because they don't own all, they don't own none of that. All of that, everything, like the, the rivers, like I was saying, uh, pertaining to the water, guess what? God owned all that. Right. So he gave them the right to uh, make us pay for water. He gave them the right to, to run uh, pipe, pipeline systems up under the earth so it can run up in your house and you got to pay a water bill. He gave them the right to do that, Read. And, and nakedness. And in nakedness. Think about it, sis. We don't own those major uh, factors that create the clothes and stuff. We don't own that as a nation of people. These people on this side right here, we don't own that. We don't own none of that. It always, your tag, I always say from Tokyo, from Japan, from China. We understand that, sis? So God, this, this is a sign. Remember, it say these curses are going to be upon you for a sign and for a wonder and upon your seed uh, forever. So this is a sign, because how do we know that we are downtown? How do we know what street we're on? Because of the sign, right? How do we know what restaurant we're going in? Because of the sign. So how do how is we going to know who we are in the last days? What nationality? Because we're not African American. That came from two European men, two Caucasians. A man that, that conquered Hannibal in the Second Punic War after he conquered Africa. His name was uh, Leo Scipio Africanus, a so-called Roman general. Now, when you think about America, Amerigo Vespucci, he, he uh, discovered this land first. They say Christopher Columbus. No, it wasn't. It was Amerigo Vespucci. They called lands after their names. He was an Italian explorer. All right, so read on. And, and want of all things. Think about it, sis. Anything you want, mostly anything you want, you got to go to your enemies to get it. You ever thought about that? You want a job, you want a job making over 100,000 a year, guess what? You got to go to your enemies for it. Unless you try to, unless you try to uh, build your own business. Yeah, you still what? Yeah, you still got to get paperwork from them. You see what I'm saying? To approve your business. It goes real, real deep. It 
goes really. I've, I've done some research and I'm uh -huh. like, oh, it's coming back. Okay, all right. Okay, oh, yeah, all crazy. See, that, that's why it's a reason why you walk by and yeah. then you came over here. It's a reason because your son need to know that too. Right. Yeah. Because what's going on in this world, sis, is a whole bunch of evil, a whole bunch of wickedness plotted against the children of Israel. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.